Hello everyone, my name is Roya and today I'm here with a full review of Sword Heart by T. Kingfisher. Uh, this is about our main character Hala who has, uh, before the story ever started, um, after her husband died of a fever, she became the uh, housekeeper for his great uncle. And now at the start of our story, uh, the great uncle has died and left her all his money. So all of his actual relatives are really bitter that they didn't get the money. And so they're trying to make Hala marry one of them, basically one of their sons. And she doesn't want to because he has clammy hands. Um, so anyway, uh, she basically ends up finding a sword among her, you know, the great uncle's things and she uh, unsheathes it and this guy comes out of it and says, where's the battle and all that stuff. And so uh, she finds that, you know, this guy, Sarkis, is tied to the sword. He lives in the sword, basically, and he can only come out if someone draws the sword. Um, and so she, as the wielder of the sword, um, enlists his help in uh, getting her, get like helping her escape from from the house um, so that she is not trapped by the relatives anymore and then uh, from there they make their way to a different city where she can enlist the help of the priests of the god of lawyers basically so that they can uh, uh, kind of help uh, her get her inheritance from those people so that those people can just like leave. So anyway, uh, so this was really good. Um, it, however, it wasn't as good as I'm used to seeing from T. Kingfisher. Um, she's really one of my favorite authors anymore. Um, I love her books. I've got, I've given all of them four or five stars. This was still a very strong four star read. However, I was not as, you know, there were a few things that made it, you know, really hard to give uh, any higher than four stars to, even though some of this stuff in here was still really five star material. Um, so for instance, the witty banter was great. It was the, the whole thing is told in such a sarcastic, you know, such a, a just a funny tone. Um, for instance, you know, when um, at the beginning of the story, when Hala is telling Sarkis, the guy in the sword, uh, that she doesn't want to marry this cousin because he has clammy hands and he goes, oh, well, we can't have that. Um, and then he's helping her escape. And as the cousin tries to take the sword, um, Sarkis says, I will not be wielded by someone with clammy hands. And it's just so funny and it's great. And that that type of thing um, continued throughout the whole book. But sometimes the witty banter just went way too long. And so there is a traveling montage and stuff where we just get you know, because they they're just traveling a really long way. And I felt like we were getting just a lot of just talking and just witty banter without as much plot behind it. So I was kind of like, can we keep going with the story? Additionally, Hala is very, very stupid, kind of. And I mean, she's smart enough to pretend stupider than she actually is when she needs to in order to protect herself. But she's overall just not a very smart person. And in some ways that made her really hard to follow. And I think to some extent that lended itself well to the story because she does come across as kind of, you know, uh, not a cookie cutter main character by any means. She has that, she's really quirky, but at the same time, sometimes it just became a kind of a joke, like more than it necessarily had to be. Um, and then she's also 36, which is the same age as me. And she's only just waking up to the fact that like, she doesn't have to do what people ask her to do and such. And uh, so she she was just very, at times, a very annoying main character to read. Um, and at, at times I really liked her. And at times I was literally like, really now? Come on. And then one other thing that just didn't really work for me is that Hala's late husband was totally like, you know, he was totally like an arranged marriage. His relatives just like needed him to marry some Somebody, basically so they just had him marry her and he didn't really care he's clearly asexual but he's portrayed as being just really stupid and really incompetent just because he's asexual and that just didn't really work for me and because this the rest of this story is very like there is a lot of sex related stuff in it because there is you know the romance between our two main characters is a really significant part of the story um 
And part of the story is Hala discovering that sex can be fun and it's not literally just, you know, something that her husband had to do every like two weeks or whatever to try to get her pregnant or whatever. Um, So it's so in that sense, the husband being the ex-husband being portrayed as being like really stupid for being asexual just didn't really work. And as I mentioned, the romance between Sarkis and Hala um, is a really big part of the story and it is really great. Um, like it is a uh, it is a really, really well written romantic subplot and everything. And it is a really large part of the story. Um, however, um, as with many romances, there is, of course, that inevitable, you know, um, misunderstanding type of thing where someone finds something out and goes, why didn't you tell me and all of that and they break up and that uh, makes, you know, the bad guys be able to make their move and whatnot. So that happens in this book. And when it does, it's really anticlimactic, uh, mainly because the thing that is found out is not really that different from what was thought. So, and he did, he does tell her too. It's not even like he didn't tell her and she found out elsewhere. He is telling her and she goes, why didn't you tell me? And I'm like, he's literally telling you. And it's, and if it were something that were a bigger deal, that might be fine, but it was really not. And it wasn't anything that was actually lied about either. It was just kind of, not said anything about and so I felt like that could have been a lot higher stakes and it could have made a lot more sense but I don't know and then that also led to Hala's being really stupid being a convenient plot device because she should have foreseen something you know all of that it was it just it just made no sense to me um so overall I really enjoyed this book I thought that the world building was really good um even if you know, Sarkis being centuries old uh, comes from a completely different world and that wherever he comes from seems to have absolutely no connection to the present day of this story because uh, it's not referenced at all. It's literally like uh, they know no nobody in the story knows anything about where he actually came from. Um, but overall, the world building is really good. There's a god of lawyers. There's a goddess whose followers actually persecute women uh, for being witches, which is very opposite of what you would normally think. Overall, this was a really enjoyable read, but it's not as good as I think that T. King Fisher normally reads or normally writes. Uh, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know uh, what your thoughts are if you've read this book, and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!